Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Mason. And I'm Trey, and today is February 11th. Not mm -hmm. for news. Three MJ FFA students performed well in a recent competition. The marketing plan CDE requires students to write and present a marketing plan for a business on how they can increase their revenue by implanting different marketing strategies. Nikki Mathis, Jen Allen, and Molly McCampbell placed third in region and first in the district. Their written marketing plan over calf cuddling was ranked first in the region. This year, the Mount Juliet FFA chapter is honored to have the Middle Tennessee Regional Stark Farmer and Star Agribusiness. On January 30th, they were selected to represent Middle Tennessee in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at the State FFA Convention. Lily Crickmar was selected as the Star Farmer with her house entrepreneurship SAE, and Eli Oliver was selected as the Star Agribusiness with his lawn care business. These students have filled out an extensive application, created resumes and supplementary pages of their activities involving their SAEs. Senior superlative nominations are this week from Wednesday through Friday. Start thinking about who you want to nominate at this time. Around 100 students signed up for each of the ACT workshops with Veronica Mitchell on February 22nd at Wilson Central High School and on February 29th at Lebanon High School. There are still 150 seats left open to juniors and seniors at each workshop, and registration ends next Wednesday. If room is available after February 12th, it will be open to sophomores too. BNN will tweet out the link at BNN MJHS. Seeking Valentines are available this week. Here's Addie Stafford for more details. Seeking Valentines is basically just Everybody in vocal ensemble, they split into groups and they pick a song and there's a few instruments, whatever, and they sing them. We do singing Valentine's to raise money for the choirs and the trips that we go on and just different stuff that we do. Singing Valentine's are going to be sold in the comments before and after school for $5. Um, we'll be selling them through hopefully Thursday morning and that will be the latest time that you can purchase them. Doing it as a junior was fun because um, you kind of picked, the people that you picked were also juniors so everyone was like you know, in their own little thing. Um, this year, you know, being a senior, it's, I mean, it's still just as fun. You're just having a little bit more fun with it, so. It was okay. It's just kind of like you're with your friends, so you just kind of have fun with it, you know? My first year, last year, doing Singing Valentine's was kind of scary, especially the first two, uh, the first few times around. But after that, it's just really fun, and you get used to it. So I'm excited for this year because, you know, we got the gist of it, and it'll be really exciting. I think you should buy Singing Valentine's because they're fun, and it's a good time and it raises money for choir, so. They're an easy way to tell somebody you love them or to just show somebody a good time or embarrass them. And I think you should get them because not only they support us, but you have a good time on Valentine's Day as well. So I wanted to tell you guys about something kind of exciting that we have going on in the library right now. It's called Blind Date with a Book. Basically, we have taken some books off the shelf. It may be some things that are new, some things that are maybe a diamond in the rough, some things that are just cool books that we think people should read. We have wrapped them up in these uh, paper bags so that you don't know what book you're getting. And there are some clues on the back of the book that will tell you like maybe it's fiction or realistic or science fiction, whatever. Um, but you just get to take home a book and you don't know what you're getting. It's like a little surprise. You'll check it out from the library just like normal. And and then take it home and you get like a little fun blind date with a book. Hope you find something good. Yo! Freshman Bears are heading to the district championship following a 51 to 33 win versus Hendersonville in the semifinals. Bears trailed at halftime 20 to 18, but came out with a strong dominant defensive effort in the second half led by Caleb Carver. The Bears will face an undefeated Station Camp team in the championship on Thursday at 7.30. The game will be at Lebanon High School. Congratulations to Kyle Hacker for winning Coming Home King Friday night at our basketball game. Also, congratulations to our boys and girls basketball teams on Friday night. The girls beat Hendersonville with a score of 68-51 to with the Bay of Majors leading the offense with 20 points. And the boys team won 84-36 to over Hendersonville with Will Pruitt leading the way with 16 points. The boys and girls are back in action versus Station Camp here at MJ tonight. The girls start at 6.30 and the boys play right after. The theme for the game is Silent Night, so come in your pajamas and support your Bears. We'll have a pep rally this Friday for the basketball game against Wilson Central. Freshmen, your theme is Pink Out. Sophomores are Dynamic Duo. Juniors are Hawaiian and seniors are Denim. That's all for news today. I'm Trey. And I'm Mason. And we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, have a, a great, great day, day MJ. MJ.